here's a short little video to display some interesting things about what people can hear and cannot hear. Uh, what we're looking at is an oscilloscope. Uh, the bottom left here, there's a signal generator inside the scope and it's currently generating a sine wave. Um, over here is that input to the oscilloscope. So we're just feeding it into channel 1 and the second input here comes from the output of this filter. So there's a filter here. And it's currently set up as a high pass filter with a corner frequency of 2 hertz and the waveform itself here is 300 hertz. Let's turn on the sound so you can hear it. In between here I have a stereo that uh, will amplify it. And over here is the speaker. So now you're hearing the 300 hertz tone. Now this is a sine wave and I can change it to a square wave. That's a square wave, and you notice the output looks just like the input. If I come down here and I change the frequency of my filter, I can make some changes in the wave shape. So, for example, now the wave shape's a little different, and I will change it some more. So now the wave shape is drastically different. But you may notice that it doesn't sound any different. Let me turn it down. Okay, anyway, like I said, it does not sound any different. I'll change it back. Listen carefully. And back. So the question is, why doesn't it sound different? Clearly, if I use different wave shapes, it makes it sound different, as we just saw. If I change the square wave back to a sine wave, actually, that's a triangle wave. Here's a sine wave. So clearly, wave shapes do matter. Sometimes, but not always. So why does this wave shape here not sound any different than this green wave shape. Hmm.